Cedric County Commission candidates talked about the importance of mental health help in our community. Three of the five seats on the board are up with all three incumbents facing challengers. And today the public had the chance to hear from all of them at a forum. Cakes Jackson Overstreet was there and joins us live downtown to tell us what they all have to say. Jackson. Yeah, David, Deb, all six of those candidates, the three incumbents and the three challengers hope to have a seat up here in the courthouse in the county commission room when it comes to January. And like you mentioned, one of the big topics they spoke on was mental health, but there were several other questions that they were able to answer in front of the Rotary Club of Wichita this afternoon. In front of over 100 members of the Rotary Club of Wichita, six candidates for the Central County Commission sat down to answer questions about what the next four years should look like. The forum opened up with each candidate being asked about how they would address staffing issues that are impacting departments like ComCare and EMS. Well, we have addressed uh, a lot of this with pay. We've increased pay significantly across our organization, but we also have to be wanting to look at, there may be other reasons why people are leaving. I want to put in place going forward a program that we review all the jobs throughout the county. You break it down every three years. Each pair of candidates were asked specific questions about their district. District 1, which covers much of the eastern part of the county north of Kellogg, focused on the use of incentives for development. I'm supportive whenever it makes sense for all the people, for all the region, to help raise the bar. I think that we have to take a critical look at um, handouts for wealthy developers. We need to make sure that we are benefiting all constituents and all residents of District 1. A topic all candidates spoke on at one point or another, proving mental health services for residents. With the candidates for District 4 giving it the most attention, since they represent the area that covers downtown Wichita and its homeless population. We need at least 150 more permanent supportive housing units. We have to understand uh, what does mental health and the role mental health has with, with influencing uh, homelessness? What is the role that substance abuse? Uh Now, you can only capture a brief snapshot in a, in a story like that of all six candidates. So if you'd like to learn about more, especially the ones who are representing your area, we have links to their bios or their website, their campaign websites on our website. Just click on this story on cake.com. Live in downtown Wichita, Jackson Overstreet, Cake News on your side.